get a live look from our Weather Now camera. This one, we're taking a look from the IMS Pagoda as we count down to the Angie's List Grand Prix of Indianapolis. We got some cloud cover over the city, but that rainfall has moved out of the downtown area. We'll see where it is now with meteorologist Todd Claus. Yeah, Mark, and you're looking in an easterly direction from that camera from IMS towards the rain, which has now made its way into portions of Hancock County. It has come to an end here in the metro area. It's a thin band of what we'll call light to moderate rainfall that's moving through, and there's no lightning associated with it. It's just plain old rain as it continues to make its march off to the east. Uh, Portland, get ready to see some rain. Parker City as well. As you work your way into portions of um, Randolph County, we'll see that rain start to move in. And then we also have pockets of moderate rainfall from Anderson over towards the Middletown area. And as we slide further to the south, here's the rain that went through downtown. Maybe a little bit of rain over in Warren Township still, but it's sliding towards Greenfield and Hancock County. Some rain in Greenwood. But again, this is a very thin line of just plain old rain that continues to make its way off towards the east. Knightstown, Shelbyville, you are next in line around the bottom of the hour and quarter to one that rain will be moving into your neighborhoods and it should be very very brief and if you have plans this afternoon do not cancel them because of the threat of rain this is the first wave of rain that's coming through you notice on the western side of the state there's lots of clouds and a few spotty showers as we expand out in illinois some more scattered showers and there's a front that's draped across the area while that front's in the vicinity we are going to keep the showers and a few isolated thunderstorms in the forecast throughout the remainder of the day but again isolated is the key were. They're very spotty in nature. There could be a brief downpour as we get into the peak heating of the day, as we get into that six, seven o'clock hour. There could be a few isolated, stronger storms that we may have to keep an eye on with the potential for maybe some gusty winds and a little bit of hail. But then the warm front goes back to the north as we head into tomorrow morning's commute. So tomorrow morning, we'll have to keep an eye on for some storms up in northern portions of the state. But as that warm front goes to the north, that is going to open the door to some very summer like air for us for the rest of of the week. Now, the Storm Prediction Center still has the northern half of Indiana under the marginal risk for severe weather. Again, any severe weather we see will be very, very localized and probably barely, uh, barely over the severe criteria. And small hail and gusty winds will be the main threat. But again, plenty of dry hours as well this afternoon. Uh, do not cancel the outdoor plans if you have them. 60 degrees with the clouds in place right now. The wind is light out of the south at five miles per hour, where it has not rained yet. Bloomington and Columbus, you're in the upper 60s to low 70s. 70s where the rain has fallen. Temperatures are in the 60s. This afternoon, again, partly cloudy skies to mostly cloudy in some areas with temperatures climbing up into the 70s. So once we get into the sunshine this afternoon, our temperatures will really skyrocket pretty quickly. And then overnight tonight, we'll fall back down into the 60s. Tomorrow, look at this. 80 degrees for our high temperature to about 81 with partly cloudy skies. The chance of a stray thunderstorm in the forecast. And look at this seven day planning forecast we have for you. A very summer like feel with plenty of sunshine through the middle half of the week. Humidity comes up as well. And we'll also deal with uh, temperatures as warm as maybe 85 degrees mark by Friday. And then unfortunately, we do bring a few thunderstorms into the forecast for the Grand Prix, but still plenty of time to fine tune that.